Hello, everybody. Recording live from somewhere. <laughs> it's good to see you. Let's go get it today. We are going to be, uh, in this video, we're going to be converting from standard form to intercept form. So when we go from standard form to intercept form, we are factoring when we switch forms. If you go the other way, you're multiplying. So today, this might as well be a video on how to factor because that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna take something in standard form and we are gonna factor it. But hey, I got a little uh, secret. We're also gonna find the x-intercepts because when I say, why the hell not? If you got it in intercept form, you might as well practice getting x-intercepts. So let's do it. I see you, let's get it. All right. Oh, where are my manners? I didn't even ask you. What's your bright spot today? Okay. <laughs> my bright spot, uh, for sure, uh, last night went out to dinner with a couple friends uh, and my wife and, and my, my son, and it was a lot of fun. So definitely my bright spot, uh, sharing, sharing a meal, breaking bread with some friends. So, all right, well, let's get to it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is say, all right, I know what intercept form looks like. It's a factored version of standard form. So let me go here and kind of anticipate the answer. I'm going to use the guess and check model for factoring. So I know, one, that this term and this term are going to get me that x squared. So I'm just going to line up x right there. I'm going to show you that I know it's cash. Right, because if I was to distribute, that would give me the x squared. We're good. Now over here, I gotta get a seven, and I know that's gotta come from these two values. Seven's a prime number, right? It's gotta be seven times one. So let's go seven times one. Let's make them both positive, because they gotta multiply to a positive, and they've gotta add to a positive. Well, let me finish up this quick diagram. All right. So this is how you check your answer. You check your answer by multiplying. Like if you can't multiply, then you can't factor, right? You've got you've to be able to multiply first. Uh, so I've got these here. Here's my x squared. There's my seven. Then I'd have to distribute here to here. That's one x, there to there, that's seven x, eight x. We are perfect, we got it, nice. Now, let's find the x-intercepts, right? Because why not, it's in intercept form. So just look at that and say, okay, my x-intercepts got to be at negative 7, 0, negative 1, 0. Because that's how we get to 0. Negative 7, plug it in for x. That's how we get to 0. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, let's go get another one. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, hit pause and give it a shot. Convert it to intercept form and tell me where those x-intercepts are. Pause. Unpause. Let's get it. All right, so a few things I'm going to notice. Uh, this time I'll use the area method to factor. I'm going to just kind of create my rectangle because I know that factoring is the creation of multiplication. It always creates a multiplication of two values, i.e. base times height, i.e. a rectangle. So let's finish this. So what do I know for damn sure? I know that that x squared goes here. Mr. Miller, what else do you know for damn sure? Not a lot in this world. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> but I know this has to be a 27. I know that much. Uh, I know it also, I, this, I don't know what the hell that's going to be. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But I do know when I add them together, it's got to be minus 12. That I do know. Okay. So I got to start thinking. I'm going to focus in on the 27. Where's my purple marker here? I'm going to focus in on this multiplication. I know that's x times x. I know it's x times x. It could be 2x and a half an x, but we're not going to introduce fractions in our factoring. So if you see a 1 there, it's got to be 1 times 1 to get there. 
Okay, my 27, let's see. 27, we got nine times three. I ain't even gonna bother with one times 27, but it is also one times 27. Uh, all right, so if nine, nine, this has to work. I mean, again, not everything is factorable. Obviously, the ones I'm gonna deliver in this video probably are. Uh, now, keep in mind, this we gotta be a little smart because they, they multiply to a positive, but they add to a negative. So both numbers cannot both be positive because then they'll never add to a negative. So let's go here, minus three, minus nine. All right, let's check. We got minus nine X, minus three X. Looks like we're golden. So you rewrite this area as its dimensions. So here we go, X minus three, X minus nine, yes! So this is it expressed in intercept form. So then where is its x-intercepts? Let's just use mathematical structure on this one. Uh, let's go, I don't know, I don't, I don't have much of a color scheme here today. I don't know why I'm picking the colors I'm picking, but uh, here I'm gonna go to blue. Uh, three comma zero, that's the first x-intercept. And nine comma zero. Because three is how we get to zero. That's how we get to zero. Nine, nine minus nine is also how we get to zero. Because the x-intercepts are always about the value of y that makes x zero. Oh my gosh. So those are my x-intercepts. Cool. So intercept form reveals what are called roots of the equation, right? These are called the roots of the equation. You want to do one more or you think you cash? You're cash. You're cash money, right? <laughs> well, it's really about just going to my factoring videos and practicing how to factor. I think for this video, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. So, uh, oh gosh, uh, in conclusion, um, I hope this video found you in a good mood. Uh, you're a beautiful person and you deserve to have a beautiful day. Hope you learned something. Take care.